Thanks for bringing it all down and bringing it down. That's what I do well. Oh, I'm I'm excellent. Why don't you tell us who we've got now? Oh, yes, absolutely. I am pleased and delighted to introduce you all to Eric Slee. Welcome, Eric. He is currently the director of the communications training department. Eugene, what are you doing over there? He's director of the communications training department. He's trying Not to help us with live stream. Oh, we'll talk about later. oh wait, oh, wait. I can well, tell, okay. about we'll tell about hey, it now. Hey, wait, okay, folks. Okay. All right, here we go. Because actually, right now, the visual component is up and running right now. So if you want to see the chaos as well as listen to the chaos going on in the studio, go right now to www.livestream.com forward slash DC Life TV. So again, livestream.com forward slash DC Life TV. TV. And it'll just keep getting easier and easier each week as we try out new technology, folks. Absolutely. So just hang in there with us. Okay, so Eric, you're the currently the Director of Communications Training Department at the Leadership Institute, where he assists in identifying, recruiting, and training conservatives across the country. Eric was previously the Legislative Correspondent for Congressman Mark Green in the 8th Congressional District of Wisconsin. Uh, prior to working in D.C., Eric served as the Chair of the College Republicans on the campus of the University of Wisconsin in Oshkosh. Raised in Watertown, Wisconsin, Eric graduated from the University of Wisconsin at Oshkosh, receiving a BA in Political Science. Welcome to the show, My Eric God, that was Slee. Boring. Thank you. I have to follow a singing Zach Galifianakis. This is no I good. Should have, I should have, uh, I should have gone through and just highlighted some of yes. the fun stuff, and yes. then added in some UP Gallos. Exactly. But tell us now. That's what the you, important. What do you do? What do I do? Yes, what do you do for the Institute? What do I do? If I, uh, basically, I manage uh, the media training department at the Leadership Institute. Okay. So let's say somebody you know, is getting ready for a press conference or maybe a television interview. With but a candidate, like manager. someone in the political sphere. Candidates, activists, um, students. We have a college uh, a campus program okay. uh, that we're pretty excited about. Um, basically, anybody who's getting ready to go on uh, a talk show. So let's say some kid is doing... Uh, some crazy thing at a campus in Iowa. They're guessing that, or they've been contacted by Bill O'Reilly. We'll get a hold of them, we'll talk them through what they need to do, things they should think about when they're being interviewed, so they're not winging it. Basically just providing them. So safe, what did training. you do to prepare for tonight's show, for example? Well, I watched your... Or are you uh, winging it? <laughs> kind of winging it. Wait. I watched a couple of your YouTube yeah. clips. Miss Marilyn. Her, oh yeah, yeah, she's fabulous, she's fabulous. She was good. Um, we have more to come. We just the technology has been a little fleeting to get everything well, worked out. Yeah, we've we have a little uh, a little online training going on really? for OI right now. Oh, uh, cool. So we definitely understand the uh, the problems that come along with going online. So tell us, uh, you do training for candidates basically. So if you want to run something, you're the guy to go see. Not really. Let me speak first of all for okay. the Leadership Institute. As Thank a whole. you. Uh, we have many different things going on over there. We have 41 different training programs that focus on everything from how to, you know, how to raise money for your cause or campaign. Um, like I said, a youth program. So we have a youth leadership school. Brings young kids in from all over the, uh, the country, teaches them what they need to know to be involved in, in campaigns and how to get on uh, a, a, either a local campaign or a national campaign. Uh, we also have a future candidate school and campaign management school. So basically... Whatever you need to do to get involved in, in the political process, uh, we can offer you training to improve upon. So, Eric, from what I understand, because I've been um, um, following the Leadership Institute for the past 10 years or so, I, I formerly held local public office in northern New Jersey and first heard about you guys way back then. So my understanding is you guys are pretty much the, if not the only, you are certainly the preeminent organization that for anyone who has an interest in getting involved in either grassroots or professional politics, you don't have to go get a degree in political science at a university, or you don't, you know, there's, or you don't just sort of um, you go sit there and read a book, exactly. right, you, you go to leadershipinstitute.org, okay. yeah, to and, and you have the whole like scientific methodology of exactly hand-holding these people through the whole process of what you got to do to be ready to become a serious contender and a candidate. Right, and one of the cool things about our, our, our organization is that we don't, it, it, the speakers at our workshops and conferences don't all work at the Leadership Institute. So we'll put you in touch with the best of the best as far as the political you know, consultants go or candidates or you know, people who have run for office before and they know exactly what you have to do. We'll put you in touch with these people and then that leads to a mentorship uh, relationship usually uh, for people attending our workshops and programs. Now, have uh, what is your success rate with people that sort of come and go through your whole process? And I mean, 
what do we have for like who's in office right now? That, yeah. Yeah, like Eric Schock, the, the youngest congressman right now in the he's from amazing. Illinois. Isn't he amazing? I kind of wish he was from Third, Wisconsin. But did, ah! but did he come from our program? <laughs> Illinois guy. No, he, Illinois. Aaron Schock did not go through our program. Okay. Um, a recent, the, the, one of the guys we, we helped train was uh, Jim Jordan from Ohio. Uh, we trained Jim, Jim who? Jim Jordan, Congressman Jordan from okay. Ohio. Okay, okay. Great, solid conservative guy. Um, he was getting ready, he was a newer congressman, uh, getting ready for, you know, doing CNBC and Chris Matthews. So he came over to our organization and I managed the media training, as I said before. So we have a studio that's fully functional, TV cameras, and uh, brought him over and uh, kind of prepped him for what he's about to do, in, you know, going on these, these talk shows. It's scary. I mean, that stuff is live. It's frightening. Well, even little things like you have an earpiece in your ear and it's squeal squealing. You, you don't know if that's supposed to happen or if it's not supposed to happen. So. Well, here's why I think it's scary, Chandler. You, know you and I have a luxury of a two-hour show. We can, we can ramble on and on for two hours. Yeah, I, I got plenty of shit to say. Start here. I no, mean, I know, but we ended up here. We didn't start here. No, I know, I know, but like, to be on Chris Matthews National well, TV, terrible. where you have like you have like. 46 seconds to get your sound bite in. Like, that's right. it. It's like, oh, uh, well, you know. the hardest thing it's is hard. Like, people all the time shake you while they're on their show. I just want to say, dude, there's only like six people out there yeah, listening. Chill out. It's fine. You're not, you're not on Fox. <laughs> like, yeah. It's so, your parents, my parents, and her parents watching. listening. I, yeah, I literally yeah. saw a guy being interviewed by, uh, I don't remember, it was someone on like the MSNBC or CNBC. And he literally said, oh, you know what? I, he said this guy was being interviewed as a candidate, said to the host, I can't remember his name. He said something like, oh, I'm sorry, can we start that over? I messed up. He goes, no, sir, this is live TV. <laughs> I was just like, oh, my God. I felt so badly for this So guy. he should have probably come over to us before he went on, on the... On I couldn't believe his... Pre I would have fired his press person for not telling him he was going on a live TV segment. Yeah, that, that, no, that's probably... Do fun. you get, like, a little element that's a little off their rocker and you're just sort of like, you know what, it would really, really be best if you worked at, like, an animal shelter instead of... <laughs> Absolutely. I don't want to say the, the, the senator's name, but uh, we, we trained. I love it. <laughs> I won't mention it. Yeah, don't you? But don't have uh, to. been in the Senate for a number of decades. Um, never had media training in his entire career. Biden. No. Um, I shouldn't Did say you tell Senator Byrd not to no. mention that he was not a leader of the KKK before he ran for office? Did that ever come out of the coaching? Go. No. Not going to come. Um, no, we, we brought this, this senator in. His, his staff wanted to bring him in and throw whatever we could at him because they could never tell him that, listen, you probably shouldn't say these kind of things. So he came in. He, we did the training. We ran through the hot seat. We threw everything we could at him. And I believe it was five days later he announced his retirement. So <gasps> oh, I'm going to take full gosh. responsibility for uh, Yay. getting that. And person. now he works at your local animal shelter. Yes. No kill animal shelter though. Oh my god! He just talks him to death. It's a very sad thing. So is um, can we talk prices here? I mean, I, I just to go to your website to look at prices. Yeah, www.leadershipinstitute.org. Are, are you not also doing something with international students? Like you're bringing students over we from have, the newly actually, democratized this, Eastern Central Europe and other like the Middle East. Are you well, bringing we'll, students in from we'll the Middle East? We'll take our training to. We have a, an international training department. Okay. Uh, headed up by a guy named uh, a gentleman named Miguel Moreno. He's a fantastic guy. Um, he'll take the training to whatever country is, is in need of the training. So he's in Bolivia, he's uh, in England, he goes to Colombia. England? Does England need political well, training? Let's, when we come back, well, why don't we talk a little bit oh, more about good. Uh, his different countries that they uh, The many different to. countries. It sounds like it. Folks, you're listening to Chandler and Rayo on bdgx.com. Okay. Just fine, just fine, just fine.